everyone welcome back to my channel it's Rachel Ray here and today I have a big unboxing for you so this is not actually new stock from Diamond Art Club if you're not familiar diamondartclub.com is a website where you can get diamond paintings that are actually shipped from the United States so you don't have to wait a long time to get them however they do have a pretty low stock at the moment just because of the COVID situation I hope that you can understand that but a long time ago, I mean like months and months ago, before the pandemic happened, I purchased a load of diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club just as an anticipation to give you some unboxing videos later on in the year. And here we are. <laughs> so I will have links to these paintings if they are still available down below in the description. If they are not available, then I apologize, but maybe it'd be nice to see them just for posterity's sake. And if you can't find them anywhere or they're discontinued, you can search for D-Stash sites like groups on Facebook or on other platforms. Uh, just diamond painting D-Stash, D-E-S-T-A-S-H. Yeah. I can, I can spell in my head. Let's start with, which one do I want to start with? I'll start with this one. And I hope that you're all having a fantastic Monday. I am. I, I've had a very productive day today because the sun is shining, you guys. And I've missed it so, so much. Um, and so, you know, it's just, it's just wonderful. I know it's like the middle of the summer. Today is July 6th as I am recording this and we needed a bit of sunshine so I'm excited I'm gonna go into town and I'm gonna buy an ice cream and I'm gonna sit in my backyard and enjoy it so oh I should probably tell you what it is <laughs> so any square diamond painting lovers out there square drill diamond painting lovers look at this one this is called once upon a dark night this is a Mandy Manzano, and yes, that is actually the Red Witch from Game of Thrones. Melisandre, yeah, 55 by 80 centimeter square with Aurora Borealis diamonds. I love Game of Thrones, you guys. Like, I, I love the books. The show veered off the books a bit, but the show does a pretty good job. Inside the kit, it looks like I got a sticker. See, this is when they first started the sticker. So the, the numbers are really, really teeny tiny itty bitty on this one. But look at all of those ABs. There's four <laughs> AB diamonds. So four different colors. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis. I'll show you how they're different than the normal diamonds uh, in a little bit. But these are all the symbols that we have on the painting. It's very dark. Lots of brown and red and brown and red, brown and red. But I think the end effect will be really nice. And just to show you guys, because I don't really do this that often, but there are a lot of newbies out there and you might need the information. Inside the toolkit, oops, inside the DAC toolkit, you're going to get a lot of stuff. Look at all this stuff. So you've got two plates of heart-shaped wax. We've got a blue pen and then it comes with a squishy so to protect your fingers if you don't you know buy acrylic or resin pens or anything like that this makes it a lot easier to hold on to the pen and then it, they give you in this kit there's a six placer which means that there's going to be a lot of color blocking which means that there will be areas of a lot of one color which I find very calming very calming and then we've got some tweezers these are very pointy really sharp so be careful they will hurt you if you're not careful we've got a few baggies and a clear diamond painting tray so that's great that is what's in the toolkit for the square diamond painting We've also got our drills packaged really nicely. I'm never going to be able to get them back in the box like that <laughs> or in the bag like that. And then we have our canvas. This is wrapped up nicely in a little dust bag. I don't keep them in these when I, after I finish unboxing, I actually just put it back in the box like so. I don't bother putting it back into the 
plastic sleeve. These are instructions for how to diamond paint. So if you're giving it as a gift, then, you know, it'll show them exactly how to, how to do it. And then let's have a look, shall we? So I'm going to just roll it the other way. Oop, come on now. Oh, I love their square paintings. Um, the drill field is just so nice. All right, bear with me. I'm rolling it like, like this because it'll help it lay flat faster because it's been curled up like that for a while. If they came out with these paintings a while ago, but the thing about these is that because it's a poured glue canvas um, and the canvas is actually made of this like soft velvet material, it's not going to hurt the painting to roll it backwards. You wouldn't want to do this with like a kit from AliExpress um, unless it's a poured glue. But here we go. <gasps> She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Mandy kills it. I love this. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> so there's a running joke on my channel. Um, I... I really like dark diamond paintings, so this is my jam. Uh, there are 39 colors in total. Can you see how here you have a legend of the color number, the DMC, and the symbol? The code, they call it here. They have that on both ends, which is really good, because this is a big one, a really big painting. I told myself I'd never do a Game of Thrones painting, but I actually really, really like this one. It could be because I really love Mandy Manzano. It's called Once Upon a Dark Night, as I said before, 50 by, no, 55 by 80. You get all the details there. The model number, you get a little schematic, a picture, mini picture, and another color list. And that end is going to roll up a little bit because it's been in the box for so long. You guys, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. So that's her hair. I wonder what this is. Let's have a look at the picture. I think it's just part of the clouds or the cave possibly, but she's so pretty. Mm -mm -mm. Now let's, let's have a look and see if we can find where the drills, you know, the AB diamonds, the Aurora Borealis diamonds go, because I can see them in there. And I wanna show you, how do I get into this now? Crinkle alert. It's such a good day that my allergies are acting up. <laughs> Okay, so we've got three big bags of 310 here. This 310 is black. Okay, so we've got 37.99, 3770. Look at these squares, y'all. I'm not gonna name them all. It would just take too long. Lots of brown. Got some top mauve. Oh, so many drills. It's a big painting. 939, which is the navy blue, really dark blue. Some 815, garnet. Ooh, 321. Yeah. Lots of brown. Tan, peach, grayish, brown, blue, more gray. Oh my goodness. More big bags. 3371, four big bags. 413 is a gray. More of these garnet colors. <gasps> Lots of red. Oh, <laughs> here's the other 310. <laughs> what was that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags of 310. Okay, still not as many as Nightbringer. Nightbringer is one of my favorites. Six, six, six. Nice. Okay, here's an AB. So have a look. Have a look at the diamonds around it and then the one in the middle. 
See how the one in the middle has like that iridescent coating on it? Yeah, that's that's what an AB looks like. Now with Diamond Art Club, they use numbers under 150 to to label what a what an Aurora Borealis diamond is. This does not match the DMC. This is just their own way. And other companies have a different way of doing it. They might use the actual color. Like I think that's 740 DMC. That's what it looks like to me. I might be wrong. Um, but other companies will say like 740A or 740AB or something like that on theirs. Different companies have different ways of doing it. And all of that just to say that. <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean though. And here we have the color. So this is where you get the colors. Little tiny itty bitty bits of color. Here's another. Oh man, that's pretty. This baby blush pink with the iridescent coating. That is beautiful. It's so unicorn. I love it. And then here's another 141, which is white. And 132, which is a lighter orange, orange yellow, just a little bit. I'd say that's probably a flame. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so uh, the machine made a mistake. So they taped on bags here. As long as I get the drills, I'm okay with that. So that's, that's unusual. That doesn't really happen often. Um, cool, so those are the diamonds. So let's have a look. Let me see, where's uh, the first AB we got was 133, which is number three on the canvas. So here we have that 133. And there's the lines and in the flame here along her dress, right here, these lines all in here. Oh, wow. So all those orange stripes down here, that's all that dark orange AB. Oh, it's gonna look so good. I had this on the Pocahontas painting. Beautiful. Okay, let's look at the next one. The next one is 124. Okay, 124 is that baby pink. So that is number one. Number one, oh, there's some. One, one, so here. One, one, get it. Game of Thrones joke. So here are some ones. Here are a few ones as well. And then here in this swirl up here. Yeah, so just a little bit. Um, next up is 141, which is that white. And the white one, 141, is number four on the canvas. So in the bubbles, here, here, here. I'm going to say in some of the white areas. Yeah, and just like sprinkled. Here's a little bit down here as well. But not every dot is a four. There's just some here, you know, random dots. Four, four, you see what I mean? But that's a K, so not all of them. It's really gonna just make it like pop. I love the little bits of color. The last AB we have is 132. That one is number two on the canvas. And it looks like it's in the flame again. I would I would highly I would see that because you want the shine you know the the shine and sparkle from the fire from the light so there's twos here right here on her dress and that's it because you know that's the only place where the light is kind of you know yeah words <laughs> reflecting so what do you think what do you think I love her face I like it because it's just so like Yeah, I don't know why I like it. I like it a lot. I like the this style of Mandy. So, with that being said, um, this is Melisandre. It's called Once Upon a Dark Night Diamond Art Club. I'm going to put this away, and then we'll open the second one. Be right back. I haven't done this in a long time, so I figured I'd do it now. Let's zoom you out. Uh, this is how I get them back in the box. So first, put your painting in but not all the way. 
Then you get your drills ready. See, I couldn't put them back as neatly as they did, but I try. And I squish it in there, and then at the same time, I push them together. You know what I mean? Um, and then I'm going to put the toolkit in the other end because this is really hard to push in. Sorry, I didn't mean to get my head in there. Okay. And it's okay if the box is all squished, that's fine. Then I open the other end down here. Whoops. I'll rip it, Rachel. It's too late. I ripped it. And then I put that in. I usually put that in with the drills and stuff, but yeah, I just put it in there. We can toss this in there and then the toolkit. So I'll just grab everything for that toolkit and stick it back together. Pretty simple. <laughs> okay, here we go. So here's the second canvas. Any guesses? This one is a square as well. <laughs> um, this is one that I have wanted for so long that I feel must happen at some stage. Um, another square. I'm trying to go for squares now because I know that I like them so much and I have so few in my stash, really. I mean, in comparison, let's just put it into perspective there. So this one is called, I'm going to butcher this word the serene siren triptych i believe that's how you say it so essentially i can't show you i'll put a i'll put a picture on the screen it's fathoms below with this beautiful mermaid in the middle and then fathoms below on the other side just reversed so ooh you can see all the different iterations of Diamond Art Club's improvements over the years, over time. We have two bags of diamonds. We have the toolkit, but no sticker. That's okay. So, same toolkit as before. I'm not going to go through that again. Check this out. Look at these colors. Oh, so pretty. And then... This is when they were doing the white bag. They don't really do this anymore. I don't know if they have plans to do that in the future um, or not. I don't think so though. I don't know why people didn't like this bag, but <laughs> there's something about it. Does it remind you of a newspaper bag or something? I don't know. Anyway, so this one, same soft canvas. I'm so ready for this. I'm going to do the same as before. I'm going to roll it the opposite way. Oh my gosh. There are 43 colors in this bad boy. Bear with me. It's so long. This one is also by Mandy Manzano. I do, I do really like her artwork. Oops. Get all the way. The sun is really tightly rolled. Um, this is the original. Becky, look! I never did send Becky all of the... <laughs> Becky's not known for crafting. We used to joke. It's an inside joke. Um, so these are the instructions on how to diamond paint. This is the old version. They're not doing this one anymore. Don't need that. <laughs> And then, this is her. <gasps> wow, that is so cool. So, oh my gosh, I can't even. All right, sorry for hitting you there. Wow, that is so cool. So you might look at this and you'd be like, oh my gosh, look at all those wrinkles. Those are actually just wrinkles from being rolled. It's the poured glue. But this looks amazing. How many ABs do we have? Sorry, I gotta... This one's all kind of wiki-wonky. Wiki-wonky? Is that a word? Um, they're kind of in a, in a strange order. I know they don't do that anymore, so this must be an older canvas. So, 132 and 141 
are the the aurora borealis so there should be two colors of ab diamonds very cool and they are going to be c and the dot i'm looking for a c so that i can recognize it when we come back aha okay so let's have a look into the diamonds really quick that's huge how big is this sorry forget myself 99 by 55 good lord she does look really pretty though doesn't she and then with the two you see how they're reversed on either side it's just mirrored that's that's the word i'm looking for mirrored on other either side this piece comes in a bigger diamond painting if you're interested in just doing one panel but i like the three of them together that's just pretty y'all all right let's look at this one first look at all the 310 mm -mm. <laughs> get that how many bags is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven bags okay we're close nightbringer by jojo's art and diamond art club had 14 bags 13 14 bags that's a lot Wow, look at that big bag, 141. This is that AB diamond that I was talking about. Wow, that is a big bag. Then we have 400. The reason I'm keeping it like this is so that I can fold it back up. Because these are the ones that are hard to get back in the bag. 954. 938. 320. Oh, look at that red. It's nice, isn't it? 3809. Very cool. And then, oh, how am I going to get these back in? You see how, see how they have like the least amount of colors in the middle and then it's wrapped around with the most. So I'm trying to remember So they did like that and then they went whoop, whoop. I'm not gonna be able to do that again <laughs> anyway anyway seven nine six look at that beautiful color very nice now this is packaged last year I can tell they have made a lot of improvements and changes since then and I just I appreciate the company if there's a problem you can contact them and let them know send them some pictures but overall I find that they're easy to talk to and they do care about making the best diamond paintings that they can for all of us hmm Look at that it's a nice color. Lots of dark blues, obviously, because it's mermaids. But really cool colors. That 913 is a great teal color. Ooh, I like that one too. They're slightly different. This one's a little darker. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's a huge bag. So that's almost as many as one for one. You see that? So both of the colors were in both of the paintings. How about that? Wow, that looks neon. Check this out. I was doing a neon cross stitch and it's actually right here. Let me get the thread. Look at that. <laughs> Wonder if they're the same. It's very similar. 3811, 597. Very nice. C 
So let's have a look. So we have 141 is actually the white dots. So everywhere you're seeing this white highlight, that is all 141. That's a lot of shimmer, you guys. And it's all over. It's on the sides as well. Let me zoom you back out. There we go. So I'll try to point it out. You see it here in the little dots, the little bubbles up here. Look at those beautiful bubbles. It's around the curl cue, in here, around the swirls, on her little bra, <laughs> um, here on the sides as well. And I, I imagine it's the same on the other side as well. And then the other one, the orange AB, is the letter C. I see it down here, in here, in the rock, in her tail, quite a bit, in her tail. Then they're in the swirls over here. Bring it over. Bring, bring over the canvas. See how floppy and nice it is? So you've got it up here, in here, all that C here yeah in her hair as well <gasps> it's gonna look so good you guys <laughs> oh my gosh so this is a big painting this this is a big in again i don't know when i don't know how <laughs> no i i'm seriously i just i really love mermaids and i and i like square a lot so i wanted to get this one as well to go with my mermaid collection um so yeah that's it that's it for this unboxing oh let me show you i didn't show you the um some people are interested in the stickiness and they're like what's the difference between poured glue and double-sided tape well poured glue can you see this can you see how it's um shimmery see that and it's super, super sticky. It's so sticky. Look. Yeah? Ugh. <laughs> it's, it's a very sticky glue. It's, it feels like a cushion when you're diamond painting. I don't really know if there's a more pleasurable way to diamond paint. The way that I diamond paint, okay, story time. Uh, the way that I diamond paint is that I use diamond painting as art therapy, meaning I don't necessarily want to hang every diamond painting that I do on the wall. I usually put them in a portfolio or give them away um, once I've completed them, but it just takes the stress and anxiety of the day away. So working on a double-sided tape adhesive uh, which is something that you get if you purchase from AliExpress or, you know, from other companies that do double-sided tape. Uh, there are lots of them out there. Um, it's, those are fun too, but when you lay down the diamonds on this poured glue, especially the glue of Diamond Art Club, it's like, it's almost like jelly and it feels really good. It's, it's like a cushion. So it's very forgiving. You can move drills around. However, you might find that diamonds slide a little bit because it needs time to cure. So my advice to you, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I've said this in my like FAQ video or something like that, but when you're getting ready to work on a diamond art club, especially if it's your first time and you're finding that the drills are sliding around, just lift the section that you'd like to work on and let it sit as long as you can, you know? Go do the dishes or, you know, come back to it in about half an hour to an hour or whatever. If you're finding that it's really, really slidey. Otherwise, that'll, that'll allow the air to cure it. It won't dry out. It won't dry out. But it will allow it to be less slidey with your drills. Um, and that's, that's what I would do if I had that problem. Um, but I know that some of us are, <laughs> me included, are kind of impatient. So I just deal with it. <laughs> I just deal with it. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, just tips from Rachel. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope that you have fun diamond painting today and or crafting or doing whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and again, if the links are available for these paintings, if they're still being sold by Diamond Art Club, I will have them down below. Otherwise, I'll let you know if they're not available. If they aren't, check a de-stashed group or check, um, 
I don't know what to say. I mean, you could try just Googling it and see if it comes up, but I would warn you to not purchase them from, you know, China or something like that. The images are licensed, so yeah. Or <laughs> if you wanted to go over to Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray, our Facebook group, you do have to answer the questions and agree to the rules to get into the group. But if you would like to ask Diamond Art Club, our group is sponsored by Diamond Art Club. So you can go in there and ask to see if those discontinued paintings will be making a comeback or if they would consider it. Maybe if you get enough signatures, so to say, uh, maybe they'll bring it back, who knows? So guys, um, thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.